Well hello everyone and welcome to a rather windy and wet episode of Wildy Garden in between the rain showers and today I'm going to talk to you about nettles. Now one thing people say to me is are nettles good for wildlife and the answer is yes. <laughs> Look at this, this is a caterpillar of a peacock, the peacock, iconic peacock butterfly found in the UK and uh, what an absolute beauty. This is probably final instar now, which means it's getting ready to pupate. The spines on that. I don't think you'd want to tackle that if you're a bird. Although some birds do, some spiders do as well. However, this caterpillar was found along with many, many more in this patch of nettles. Now, if I try and show you a few, you'll see just how vital. The nettle actually is a larval food plant for three of our uh, Vanessid species. So the small tortoiseshell, uh, the peacock and the red admiral. And just look at this. Hope you can see that. There are just black caterpillars all over these nettles. Hope you can see that. And these are just growing in uh, part of a garden that I manage in Hertfordshire where they are just the old spoil banks left from some meadow works which were done in the field uh, a little while ago and um, because of the fertility nettles obviously thrive in fertile areas. Uh, so uh, they've done really well here, created a really big clump which of course is great for these rather gregarious caterpillars which can eat a phenomenal amount of food especially in large numbers. And not only that, not only have I found peacock with flies, I've never found this before in my life. Um, might not be too exciting for some of you. However, if you take a look down here, you can see two or three more clusters of slightly more grey-brown caterpillars. And those, I'll put a bit better clip in so you can see, those are actually the caterpillars of the small tortoiseshell butterfly, which is a butterfly that, in my opinion, is declining massively across the UK because, of course, nettles are flailed extensively in the peak of the season, and now early July, uh, across the UK in terms of managing dikes and ditches, uh, roadside verges. So it's a real shame because, obviously, with it goes the food plant and, of course, these caterpillars when they are on the nettles themselves. So, you know, July now, perfect time. A lot of people, uh, a lot of, you know, manage, <laughs> managers of the countryside, shall we say, a lot of farmers, a lot of um, local councils, that sort of thing, are mowing verges. And it's such a shame because, of course, you then lose these little chaps. So, so David Attenborough's favorite butterfly, the peacock. And I'm uh, very pleased to have found this one. But it was Jean, actually, who, um, I've been working for for a few years now. If you've probably seen, you've probably seen one or two of the older videos of us uh, bringing a few birds and some of the things you find on this wonderful little three-acre site. So sorry about the wind noise, and uh, it's a blustery day as you can hear. But I just wanted to show you these little beauties and just tell you the importance of nettles. As I say, three of our native Vanessid species of butterfly, peacock, small tortoiseshell, red admiral, all found uh, laying their eggs on nettles. So please, if you can, leave some nettles in a sunny spot. Uh, they really are fantastic. Commas as well will actually use them, comma butterflies. Um, so actually four, sorry. <laughs> um, four species. So if that's not a good enough reason to have some nettles in your garden, I don't know what is. So, Thanks for watching guys. Please get a patch of nettles. Don't just chop them down and, and dig them out of your garden. They are beneficial. And um, thanks very much for watching. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a like and I'll be sure to bring you many more little critters like this in videos to come. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.